No sports biography echoes against all odds more than Lee Trevino's literally electrifying story. And we're not talking about just his stellar skill on the course. So join us as we delve into an electrifying chapter of Lee Trevino's life that defied the odds and redefined his legendary status. Lee Trevino is globally recognized as one of the most successful personalities in golf history. However, destined for greatness, his journey was marked by resilience and an unwavering spirit. Here's how he became a golf legend. A Golfer's Resolve – The Journey of Lee Trevino The story of this particular legend began back in December 1939, when Lee Buck Trevino was born in Garland, Texas. You probably didn't know this, but the Trevino family is of Mexican ancestry, and Lee was raised by his mother Juanita Trevino and his grandfather Joe Trevino, a gravedigger. He never really had a formal education and only attended school occasionally. At the young age of five, young Lee already had his first job working in the cotton fields. A few years later, he developed an interest in golfing when his uncle gave him a few golf balls and an old golf club. Having been given the necessary equipment, young Trevino would sneak into nearby country clubs to practice his game. And a little while later, he began working as a caddy at the Dallas Athletic Club. Earning about $30 a week as a caddy and shoe shiner, Trevino opted to drop out of school at the young age of 14 and focus on caddying full time. As a caddy, he got to practice golf at the three short holes set apart for the caddies behind their shack and he would hit at least 300 balls every day after work. The turf where he trained was way below standard, with very little grass, and the weather was really windy. But guess what? Supermex turned playing on Texas hardpan in the wind into a way of developing his trademark golf swing. He learned to handle the club in an extremely distinct, unique, and compact yet effective method, and improved on his skill. Becoming one of the game's finest shot makers ever as a result of adverse playing conditions is the perfect image of resilience in sports. Many people don't know this, but after a few years of caddying, Trevino enlisted in the United States Marine Corps immediately after he turned 17 in December 1956. This golf legend definitely didn't take the regular path to becoming a professional golfer. He went on to spend four years serving as a machine gunner before getting discharged as a corporal with the 3rd Marine Division. And all that time, he kept playing golf in armed forces golf events in Asia, even once playing against future US Open winner Orville Moody. After leaving the military, Trevino spent time working as a club professional in El Paso, Texas, before qualifying for the US Open in 1966. Already pretty impressive, but it was nothing compared to what he achieved the following year. In 1967, he qualified for the US Open and finished just eight shots behind champion Jack Nicklaus and only four behind runner-up Arnold Palmer. His fifth place finish earned him tour privileges for the rest of the 1967 season, and let's just say he made the best of those privileges. Bagging a season total of $26,472, he not only finished 45th on the PGA Tour money list, but was also named Rookie of the Year. And that was just the start of what would go on to be one of the most phenomenal golfing careers ever. Playing professional golf on the PGA Tour, it took Lee Trevino just one more year to get his first win at a major golf tournament, winning the 1968 US Open. Within the next five years, the list of Lee Trevino wins and golf achievements had grown to include one more US Open win, two Open Championship victories, one PGA Championship win, the 1971 PGA Player of the Year Award, and 1970 PGA Tour Leading Money Winner, amongst many others. Trevino hadn't played pro golf for two decades and already had one of the most impressive career records in golf history. But suddenly, disaster struck, quite literally. A fateful day on the course brought a test of courage like no other, forever changing Trevino's destiny. Thunderstruck, Trevino's encounter with lightning. The year, 1975. The event, the Western Open. The location, Butler National in Oak Brook, Illinois. Lee was having the best years of his career and was hoping for another successful tournament during the Western Open. What happened can be described as anything else but successful. Standing near the 13th hole with Jerry Hurd and Bobby Nichols, Supermex had just marked his golf ball. He was about three feet from the pin and was walking towards a lake. 
He noticed the weather was a bit gloomy, but that wasn't his first time playing on a wet day. Plus, the skies were about to clear. So the then five-time major winner decided not to seek shelter. Turned out to be the worst decision he had ever made. As the rain began to pour, he held an umbrella and was waiting for play to resume when suddenly he was struck by lightning. You heard that right. Literal lightning hit him, lifted him, and threw him back to the ground, leaving him unconscious. In that split second, Trevino saw his entire life flash before him as he was hit. And then everything went silent. In his words, it was comfortable. It was a very, very quiet sensation. I couldn't hear a thing. There was a whining noise in my ears. I know it, lightning had me when I started shaking. The lightning struck and left Trevino lying face down unconscious, literally dangling between life and death. When he was rushed to a hospital, even the doctor in charge was lost for words. The only medical reason for Trevino still being alive was his strong heart. However, in the face of adversity, Trevino's unyielding spirit guided his road to recovery and a triumphant return to the sport. Unyielding spirit, Trevino's road to recovery. Without any diagnosis from a medical professional, you already know that surviving a lightning strike can't be a small feat. The Eugene Register Guard initially reported that Trevino and the other two golfers who got struck had suffered only minor injuries. But that was probably just to keep the nerves of people down. The lightning strike left Lee with many burns on his back, but that was just the start. His muscles had atrophied considerably, and further tests showed that it also damaged many of the internal parts of his back, resulting in a number of spinal injuries that eventually required surgery. Trevino's damaged spinal disc was removed, but the back pain was something the doctors couldn't treat. Back pains have knocked out some of the most famous golfers, but Lee Trevino is not just your regular golfer. He is one of the most inspiring athletes ever. Newspapers and magazines all talked about him being finished and how hard it would be to come back from a back injury. However, in what has undoubtedly gone down as one of the most inspirational sports stories, Trevino did the seemingly impossible, and after the next three, he was back on the green. You heard that right. Even the common golf injuries take longer to recover from. This resilient spirit is what makes Lee Trevino's comeback one of the greatest sports comebacks ever. Playing golf with back pain required him to stand more upright, and he couldn't cut the ball the way he used to. He essentially had to switch up his signature swing, but Trevino was determined to do whatever it took to get back to top playing form. Find Trevino's story inspiring? Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more intriguing stories from the world of golf. After the storm, the sun. Trevino's return to golf brought a wave of triumphs that marked a golden era in his career. Triumph over tragedy, Trevino's post-recovery success. Lee Trevino's story of triumph over adversity won't be complete without mentioning all he achieved after his comeback. And trust us, the lightning just might have been the extra charge Trevino needed. He got back into action a year after the strike and won the 1976 Colonial National, but that was only the start. He went on to win a tour event in each of the following three seasons. The early 1980s came. Supermax had a drought for about three years, and the media narration was his back injury finally ending his career. However, if a lightning strike couldn't end Lee's career, nothing can. He was back up in 1984 when he rocked up the PGA Championship, marking his sixth and final major win with a remarkable game. Trevino shot all four rounds under 70 and set a new record with his final score of 15 under par at Shoal Creek in Birmingham. That tournament was just him cementing his place as one of the greatest sports legends. At least that was enough to silence anyone who believed his early induction into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 1981 was based more on his recovery from the tragic lightning attack than his actual skill with a golf club. By the end of his career on the big stage, Lee Trevino had amassed a whopping 92 professional wins, including 29 on the PGA Tour and 5 on the European Tour. He also represented the U.S. at six prestigious Ryder Cup tournament editions with an impressive 17-7-6 record. Trevino really was one heck of a player. More than the golfing highlights in the trophy cabinets, Lee Trevino's story is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. His legacy? Timeless. Lee Trevino's Legacy – The Resilience of a Champion Lee Trevino's illustrious career saw him winning everything except the Masters, although he twice got top 10 finishes at Augusta. 
However, his achievements are only part of Supermax's legacy. Being one of the earliest Latin Americans to excel on golf's biggest stage, the likes of Joaquin Neiman, Abraham Anser, and Sebastian Munoz in today's golf all take their inspiration from him. Trevino showed that through determination and a love for golf, anything is possible. His revolutionary golf tale started in the slums with less than ideal playing conditions, making him an icon to many young golfers today. And despite his success, Lee Trevino has done well to remember his roots by establishing and sponsoring many scholarships and financial aid for Mexican Americans. Truly an icon of the game, never to be forgotten. Creator's note, there are many accounts and dozens of articles about Lee Trevino getting struck by lightning three times in his life. We even typed in the Google machine, how many times has Lee Trevino been struck by lightning? And Google's response is golfer Lee Trevino has been struck by lightning three times. But we could not find any evidence that this is true. To the best of our knowledge, it only happened once. If you have further information about this, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video about Lee Trevino, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too. Let us know in the comments if there's another golfer whose journey you'd like us to cover. See you there!